because of their joint laxity and the chance that the spinal cord has been injured by structural compression or instability, it's, it's harder to predict, for me to predict in each patient what the response will be. And I've talked to, Chris Hendricks was the leader on the, the clinical trial side and had the most experience in the world and certainly saw most of the patients in the UK with MPS 4A, he agrees he can't predict on an individual basis who's going to have the best response. And our recommendation is you really do the best baseline testing, as many functional outcomes as you can gather. Um, it helps to have them over time so you have a baseline that may be six months apart over time before you start enzyme and then follow for one to two years and make a judgment about whether you're having a positive response. And you always have to, in the back of your mind, be sure that you're, you're not missing something medical or surgical that's preventing the enzyme to, from having its um, positive effect. If you have um, knees that are so unstable that the person can't walk and there's so much pain in the knees, you're not gonna, enzyme won't correct that that's more of a surgical problem and has to be um, handled the same with the spine once there's been injury to the spinal cord enzyme may have some positive benefit their hands may be able to to um, uh, do more functional tasks like lifting a cup um, typing better using their cell phone better but you're not going to be able to reverse walking take someone who's completely wheelchair bound and have them walk in most cases if there's been a lot of spinal injury. So it's a, you're working with both sides. The, I had one patient who had a very good structural system. He had had multiple surgeries on his spine, knees, hips, and um, didn't respond as well as we thought he should. And it turned out he had a, um, uh, vascular compression of his trachea and he was not he was having so much pulmonary problem that was countering the positive effect and as soon as the the artery artery had been repositioned he then was doing much much better so it's a, a mix of taking care of very complicated medical surgical side with the enzyme on the other hand I've had very old patients who people say boy would I expect a 60-year-old to have a good response? You know, they've had their disease so long and so uh, progressive, and they've been through uh, knee replacement, hip replacement, or aortic valve replacement. And then I met one patient who could walk one to two city blocks before enzyme, and within three to six months, she's walking one to two hours and her blood pressure went from 140 over 90 to 90 over 60, and her blood pressure medicines had dropped in half, and her pain medicines had dropped in half. So, so it's, I really resist the temptation to, to predict and exclude any population from this type of treatment. I, it's, you know, it's a, it really should be um, tried but it needs to be done in conjunction with good functional testing before and six months, a year after checking a response in the urine KS to be sure you're getting a biochemical response. So it's, um, it's it, it really is, um, there's not a single group I would exclude. A patient with spinal injury may have still a very good response in their hand function, upper limb function, which is ignored in most of our trials. We 